Look at me, I'm back in the position I'm always in in these vlogs. Yay! We're home, we were meant to vlog multiple times this week and every time we've forgotten. Hello. So, the today's fire. gonna be the vlog. Yay. Well, we were gonna vlog yesterday and then we forgot and I was gonna vlog this morning and then I forgot. Yeah. Because I wanted to do kind of like, what was that noise I just made? We wanted to do like a uh, vlog about us getting back into a routine and what mm. we've been up to. When did we get back? Over a week ago. Mm. Pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. But we did have a couple of vlogs to finish up and mm -hmm. publish. How do you feel being back in the UK? So nice. It's so hot still. It doesn't even feel yeah. like we really changed. Well, we did because it's like six degrees. Yeah. It's like, you know, like ten, five to ten degrees not uh, cooler, but it's still really hot yeah. in the UK right now. New York was great, but it was sometimes just a little bit too hot. Yeah. Whereas here it's like... Really nice. Pretty much the perfect temperature It's like for 25, 26 degrees, yeah. which is lovely. Yeah, we've been like resetting. It's kind of like when you get back from holiday, you need to like reset and have like a little kind of yeah. uh, organize and... Yeah, we spent the weekend doing like a proper clean. Of oh my house. God, it was the most like, satisfying thing ever. We like literally... the most in-depth clean we've ever done of this flat. We cleaned every last like yeah. inch of it and the, every cupboard organized everything. And it was so nice, yeah. so satisfying. And even though like, I don't know, everything feels so much tidier now still. Like it feels so organized mm. and everything's staying nice before everything would be a, bit, be a bit messy on the tables and things. There's just a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like Whose stuff was that? Uh, it was kind of 50-50. <laughs> If anything, it was None more of it was mine, so I'm just zooming in a bit because it looks a bit weird. Okay. But anyway, I'm editing my vlog. It's a what I ate in a day. Not what I ate in a day, what I ate on holiday type yeah. of video. Um, oh yeah, what have we been doing? We, since we've been back, we've been... Because Alex and I, sometimes we wake up and then we don't... I would go to the gym, but Alex would often stay inside all day and would get straight into work. And I could tell it was stressing him out. It was stressing you out to kind of straight be into work. And I said so important yeah. and i say this to you guys it's so important to have a morning routine that is something that you like and you enjoy so we've been focusing on going out in the mornings i used to go to the gym in the morning and i realized that that was kind of still like a task to fulfill like it's like i'm still like going to the gym to like i don't know do you know what i mean like a, when you go to the gym you're kind of like doing something Whereas I wanted to be in the morning not thinking or doing really anything. So I've started to do yoga first thing, which is so relaxing and just really like calming for me and meditative. And then going on a long walk, listening to a podcast, which is just enjoyable for me. And having breakfast slowly and not looking at my phone all this time until I get back. And Alex has been doing the same, like waking up and going on a walk, having breakfast, chilling yeah. out. Oh, that was weird. I think it was like a hangover from the really long winter but I got used to not going outside in the mornings because it was like zero degrees. Now it's got warm, I just kind of, I don't know, it's not good. I, I'd get up and just go straight on my laptop. Yeah, it's not good. Alex would literally get up, go straight on his computer or go straight to washing up or clearing up or going to the post office. And I'm like, yeah. you're waking up and you're immediately bombarding your brain with mm. like stuff to do. And I don't think I would maintain my sanity as someone who's self-employed and working quite a lot and doing a lot of like juggling a lot of things in my brain if I didn't have that hour or two in the morning to myself to do what I wanted to do to have that enjoyment and I've played around with my morning routine and adjusted it like I used to go to the gym as I said and now I've decided to do that in the afternoon so I can have a really relaxing morning and a really slow yeah. morning Can you we, need that yeah well we've, we've played around i feel like I've, we've mentioned it a few times in this video it's like we've got a new routine we're starting a new routine but you never actually do yeah, it yeah we've, we've played around with it and like you started going to the gym in the morning and it's never quite worked but yeah. I'm, i've been enjoying the past week a lot yeah and, and also, also the weather makes everything better also though we've been uh saying when it comes to like 6 p.m we stop working mm -hmm. And that's, we switch off. Good. There's something to be said about your mindset when you give yourself a window to work and then you give yourself a window to just do what you want to do and you give yourself permission, yeah. essentially, to just do what you want to do. Although I'm, I much prefer being self-employed like we are. When I had a nine to five job, it was like you could switch off at 5 p.m. or whatever and you would just, you'd have no responsibility. But when you're working like this, you can work from, you know, you can work to like 10, 11 p.m. Mm. And then you feel like, I haven't had any time to myself. I haven't really enjoyed the day. And you kind of just, it makes you less productive the next day because you're kind of, I don't know, tired. Yeah. yeah. It's really like counterintuitive to 
work, 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 work. And it actually, it, it made me develop IBS and get stressed out. So like mm. I need to have time off because when you have time off, you rejuvenate and actually when you do work. So I've noticed the last few days, the days that I'm, when I'm actually, the time that I'm giving myself to work, I'm doing more and I'm not procrastinating as much because you're not, you're not delaying the inevitable. You're not like, oh, thinking, oh, I just want to relax and not have to do this work or whatever. I mean, like a deadline at 6 p.m. almost. It makes you, it makes me more productive. Sometimes yeah. I need that framework to you work do. in instead of saying, well, it needs to be done by the end of today. Sometimes I'll work till midnight. Yes. But I won't work productively or efficiently. You, like, you might notice that these vlogs sometimes go up at like 9, 10 p.m. And that's yeah. because Alex will like do other things. Like maybe he'll go to the shop or you'll do the washing up or you'll yeah. go... Do some task that you've had to do and you'll procrastinate with that instead of just getting the vlog uploaded. I'm really good at my morning routine and I've been great at my morning routine ever since we've moved here. I've ha always had a really solid time for myself in the morning and I've always told Alex to have the same and you've never really done it and you really need to do it. It's so important to have time for yourself in your day. If you currently, you watching, don't have a time for yourself in your day, make that time, like just adjust your life to make that time. I know lots of people have jobs and kids and lots of things, but even just 15 minutes of your time where you can sit and have breakfast quietly and read a book or 20 minutes where you can go for a walk or 10 minutes where you can do a quick like stretch yoga routine or I don't know, you wake up half an hour earlier so you can get ready for work slowly. That's something I'm really trying now. Yeah. I don't, you go to bed a bit early than me generally. But yeah, you need to I go, go to, to bed, bed earlier. around midnight, but at the same time, there's no reason I should be sleeping in past eight, which no. we end up doing sometimes quite regularly. But yeah. anyway, we're rambling, but you get the gist. And um, I'm holding, holding Alex accountable for having time outside until it becomes a habit. That's something yeah. you've got to do. If you think, oh, this is really tricky, it's just because you need to make it a habit. And then after like a month, it won't be tricky anymore. It won't, you won't even have to make the decision. Now you're mm -hmm. having to make the decision. You're having to go, should I go outside or should I go to the gym or should I um, sit and read? And once it's a habit, you no longer think about it because it's just something you do. And that's what you've got to do. Yeah. You've got to make it a habit I'm so making, it's just um, something you do. A good habit with phones in the beds now. I was breaking that yes, quite a lot, but you now were. we've been like reading in bed every night. Yes. Which makes me much sleepier than if I'm mm -hmm. watching a video. Anyway, we'll um, maybe vlog a bit more for the rest of the yeah. day. And maybe I'll take you to the gym later. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I won't. I've got this video to do. Yeah. Yay, I'm really hungry. Yeah. What well, time is what's it? happening tomorrow? I'm going to Venice! So you're going to get a Venice... Oh, secrets out. I mean, I'm in Venice right now, probably by the time this video goes up. Yep. Um, I'm going to be... I'll vlog while I'm there, so I don't know how many vlogs it'll end up being, but and how often I'll vlog. You because make it into one big vlog. Well, we'll you? see. I'll just pick up the camera. I'll take the camera with me, I'll pick it up, and I'll... This one? Yeah, no. and I'll just vlog whatever I feel like because I'm there with six other girls, I think. There's six, seven of us, I think. And um, some of them I know already. Some of them were the girls I met in Porto. So Zoe, Cheryl, Kia, and um, the, some of the other girls I don't know and I've never met before. They're all friends with each other. They all know each other, but I don't. I ne not all of us have met one another. So it'll be really, really fun. And we booked it originally for a gig for Kygo, but he cancelled last minute. So... But it doesn't really matter because we're still going to Venice for the weekend. So I'm really excited. It's like my number one place that I want to visit. So it will be ticked off. And we're still going to have to go together though. Yeah. Me and you. Because I want to go. I would love, I want to go with Alex one day. Yeah. For our honeymoon. When we eventually get married. Yeah, steady off. Um, it's only been it's only been seven and a half years. Yeah. That'll be a bit that'll be moving things a bit too but fast. We've only been like true adults for Three yeah, of those. we were 18 when we met. Yeah. Anyway, we're doing, this is what we do a lot. We don't vlog for like a week. And then when we do vlog, we blah, 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 blah. People seem to enjoy it. They do. And if you don't enjoy it, just... Fuck off! <laughs> no, skip, skip past it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to have to censor that. <laughs> Bugger a real swear word? No, but my finger. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, bye, I've got to edit now. What have we got here? <laughs> Some incredible sandwiches. I was just Instagramming about this cheese because this is the Tesco vegan cheddar. Hmm. And it's just so good and toasty. And then Alex got this amazing olive bread. Is it nice to be back on gluten? Oh my God. Because it kind of changed in Mallorca. Looks like gluten. Back on the menu, boys. <laughs>
This is just, I think it's just mature cheddar and then it's olive bread. So it's got olives in there, which is really nice. And then sun-dried tomatoes, pesto and hummus. And then in the, so I did one toasted, one not. And in the non-toasted bun, I put spinach because Alex doesn't like toasted greens. If you are in the UK, you really don't miss out on cheese because Tesco and I think Tesco is my favorite. And Asda and Sainsbury's have good ones too, but they have like proper cheese. And if you want to get the real cheese experience, then toast it and it tastes like normal cheese and you're not missing out at all. I know other countries don't have necessarily everything, but the UK, we are, we, we're on it. So you don't need to miss out. And this is such a delicious lunch that we have all the time. Mm. It feels like it's been so long since Maddie was eating this bread in the UK. It's surreal. And also, even like the fancy expensive bread we I just bought in Tesco is still like half the price of the basic gluten-free stuff. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice. <laughs> you feel like you can afford to like splash out on nice bread. We ate the whole loaf though. Did we? Yeah, just oh, the whole loaf. Still. <laughs> Worth it. So I just had a bite of that, the, the non-toasted one. And I think the olive and the cheese and the sun-dried tomato I thought it was salami. In my mind, it tasted, it had the same texture and like saltiness mm. and chewiness of salami. And for a minute, I'd like, I had a double take, like a genuine double take. I was like, you thought I was sneaking meat into your it, it was just, it just reminded me of like, it took me back, I don't know, like five years. And I was like, this tastes just like salami. And then I <laughs> looked and I saw that little sun-dried tomato poking out. And for another split second, I was like, what the hell's going on? And then I realized, <laughs> That's insane, this bread is so good. It's really like, good bread. It's like really soft. soft and high quality olives as well. Wow. I just got an exciting delivery. I've got a new bike kit. Maybe Alex should show you. So I got it off Wiggle. This is what it looks like. And these have got like cute little things <laughs> for your hips because when you're a woman and you wear cycling shorts, often they dig in or I don't know when I was trying on because I used to have bib ones and I tried on some ones that just are at the hip and they all just dug in and were uncomfortable would slide down would just not make me feel very good um so this is a very smart design because it means that if you're a girl this stays on your stomach and then this part yeah. is over your hip so when you're cycling they're not gonna like fall yeah. down and you don't have the bibs on your shoulders oh, bibs are so annoying I hate yeah. them hate them so much. And this is navy, I didn't know it was navy. But it matches the sort of pinky tones. And it's so soft. My other kit was Castelli and it lasted a year, so I thought, okay, I trust this brand. But also it was horrible. way more horrible color. Horrible. That color suits you so much better, I think. Cause I got that on the day that I got my bike and I got it because it was the only thing in the shop that wasn't Purple, green, yellow, like disgusting. Yeah. I don't like those colors on me. They look horrible on me. Yellow looks good on me, but they were like horrible yellows. And that weren't like either extra small or extra large. I think there was only like one or two things that were yeah. size medium or size oh, so small. so you, you could pay off on uh, finance. It wasn't actually even that. It was, was it? no, oh. it wasn't. Cause it was a different, it was like, it was when I was picking up the bike, I think. I think I ordered it and then I picked it up. It was, be it was because they literally only had, I think three different tops that were, my size, like size medium or size small, and that was the only one that didn't look horrendous. Well, it, I, it still did look horrendous because it had these horrible white, maybe Alex will insert a picture, but they had these horrible white bits on my hips. And I don't know what woman wants white bits on their hips because it just doesn't make you look good. It makes you look boxy as well as wider than you are. And it's not like it makes you have like a nice curve. Anyway, it just was not flattering. It didn't like that color on me. And I always felt a bit gross. Whereas I, I would look at other people, especially when we were in Thailand, and our friend, like, she had the coolest bike kit, and I'd always be really jealous. Yeah, Nat and Lydia, who went to, we went to Bali with, they, they both of them always had a cool bike kit, and I would be like, they look so cool. And now I can look cool. I've got oh, another one. I've got fun. another one coming as well, which is like polka dots. Black. Yeah. Is it I black? Thought, or is it navy? I think it's black. Black polka That's dots, and then a black. One, I thought, online. Yeah, and so then black shorts, so, so that it's just like plain. Yeah. So I've like literally lived with one set of bike kit for like two years. Yeah. We ordered this on Tuesday night. I know. And it's here Thursday afternoon. It said you could pay for next day delivery and we'd get here on Thursday. And this came on Thursday with free delivery. So and I'm it impressed. Matches, kind of matches my sports bra that I have already if I undo it. Yeah. It's very cute. Will this encourage you to go cycling more? Yeah, because honestly, since being back home, a huge part of the reason, and it's so lame, a huge part of the reason I haven't been cycling 
is because I feel insecure in that outfit and if you don't feel good in what you're wearing, like I was saying to Alex yesterday, like just because it's a bike kit doesn't mean it has to be something that you never wear. Like you want it to still be like something you're wearing. And when you wear clothes, it's like an outer representation of yourself. And I would always feel gross. And the shorts were, had like holes in them and they had like see-through bits where the stuff had worn on my bum. And I just felt a bit like, oh, I don't really want to put this on. I used to have that with my gym kit. I used to just have like hand-me-down crap gym kit. And then every time I went to the gym, I didn't feel like myself, which made me feel more self-conscious in the gym until I got like all my girlfriend collective set and they feel more like my style and I feel like myself when I put them on. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Yeah, and like, you know, I'm sure you can relate. Like, not that clothes matter too relate. much, but when you don't- I get very self-conscious. If you wear something, if someone wants to make you wear their clothes, you would feel a bit like, oh, this isn't me. And it's not nice just because you're on a mm. bike doesn't mean you can't wear things that you feel like yeah. yourself in. And that's something, I think this week. Oh, does my helmet match? I don't think it does. It kind of does, oh, in a way, because it's kind of got different colours all over it. Hmm. Do I need a new helmet? Let me see. No, it kind of matches because it's kind of got, has it got navy and purple in there? Yeah. Yeah, because I've got navy. I feel like it's the same, and the yellow's good for visibility. It's like bright yeah. colours. I feel cool in I thought your helmet, your helmet kind of matches your bike. I think it's quite good. Yeah. I was going to say this week has been, um, what's the word? Categorised. No, something by how we've been doing things and organizing things we've been meaning to for ages and ages. Yeah, this being one like of them. Like this, like every few weeks you're like, I'm gonna buy a bike kit tonight, and then you don't. It's been on my to-do for yeah. so long. Never mind. Never mind, but, but I'm happy with this. Yeah. I feel cute. I'm happy for you. I feel really cute. Let's compare it to my... It actually kind of matches yours. If we go out like this. It's way comfier, you know. It's way comfier. It will be the coolest couple. Yeah, like this kind of matches. Oh, no. I have to close it. Around. Yeah, because it's like the same. That, that's quite common, I think, in bike kits. I can't show the back. I'm going to go look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Alex, you putting it on. This is our only mirror. We don't even have a full length mirror. We were going. Why didn't we get one in Ikea when we moved? Because you stopped me. I wanted Did to. Did I? It was £90 and you wouldn't let me buy it. It was £90, wasn't it? That's how much full length mirrors are. Well, I think we have to decide if we can actually fit it anywhere on a wall, and then we never did. The only thing of this is a bit short for me because I'm tall. I've got a really long torso. And look how cool we look. You're the learning. thing about bike kits is that they're never that cute. No. I don't know, well, like, I don't know. Does anyone know of like a really cute women's bike kit brand? Because I don't know. What I don't like about women's is that they always have it like the zip doesn't go down any further. I know, as if like we just, don't need to go to the toilet. Unless it's just Castelli, but. Yeah, I don't know. Because the DHB one might go all the way down. I like this one. Because you can go to the... the, the, the it's fine though, because I've not got the bib, so I can just take my shorts off and go for yeah, the way on the back. Fine. Yeah, the, they're a bit limited, I think, I guess, because cycling is, generally speaking, a, a male sport, or most people who cycle are men. Yeah. So they don't really cater for women as much. But... Cute. I'm excited. I, I'm so sad that I didn't send both. <coughs> oh my god, seriously. Look, I feel like pastels. I think, do you know what's also good? Is when I have my hair up like this, so I don't, you probably don't see me with my hair up like this very often or in low bun. It makes me look very young and a bit, I find myself looking a bit boyish. I know you're probably gonna say, no, you don't look boyish, but I find myself. You look more like a man. <laughs> I find that I look, it, my hair makes me look girlier. And when I have my hair in a low pony, which you have to have for yeah. a helmet or a plait or whatever, I feel like I've lost a part of my, prettiness so it's nice to have like a girly top anyway i've ranted enough about this no, you, um... now i need to go on a bike ride i'm, gonna, I'm supposed to go to the gym but should go on a bike ride instead no you just need a new bike i don't need a new bike just with a nice color you see what i sent to um for your dad because mm. all the giant bikes are on sale my now. dad's in the market for a new bike yeah. At first he was going to get a cheap bike then he's going to get like a hybrid bike now he wants like <laughs> like a Carbon like bike. Carbon bike that's more expensive than our bike. Yeah. Oh, it does look cool. Do you want to go on a bike ride? Is it too hot? It's 30 degrees. Hmm. Okay. Should I just wear this to the gym and freak everyone out? Yeah. <laughs> Hello! I'm ready! I'm off to the gym. Alex is going to cook me dinner tonight. Yeah. Yay. More suited and booted. I'm getting, I'm trying my hardest. I'm flying tomorrow, so I'm trying my hardest not to think about it because it gets me nervous when I think about it. I'm proud of myself though, for not thinking about it. I've kind of like packed, not packed, but like, I don't know if any of you do this, but before a flight, I will like put my clothes that I know that I want to take separate on my wardrobe. 
So I know I want to take these things, or maybe take these things, not all of them, but maybe some of them at least. So I've got like my little options, and I'm thinking, ooh, which ones? Because I got all these nice new little cute things recently, and especially these things. You might have seen on my Instagram, got this nice cute dress, which is just such a perfect thing for photos in Venice. This cute little dress as well. So I'm going to be taking those with me. I'm not sure. Maybe you're going to take this one, but I'm not sure about it because I'm not sure. I feel like I need to take something a bit colourful. Maybe I should take my red dress for like a cute picture in Venice because I feel like there'll be some red backgrounds. I don't know. I'll put that there in my maybe section. <laughs> Yeah, do any of you do that? Where you like put some clothes aside, ready for your trip so you don't have to think about it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym. Blah, blah, blah.